Emma. Oh. A little bit. <laughs> Down you go. Get your coat place. Someone in here. WWF said um, a year ago, could I write something else? And it's taken a whole year to write it, and I've enjoyed doing it. Um, and this is the end product, um, One Planet Future. inspiration for writing this particular one, uh, and I've written the other ones about the ocean and the rainforest, I, I decided that we should actually write something about our own lifestyle. We can't blame other countries, other, other environments. It's our own environment and I think that's where it starts, with our own children. It's the children's future. I think to get a message across, the more emotion that it, it can convey, the better. And music is certainly a way of getting directly to the, the emotions. I would like as many children and adults as possible to become involved in it and all the issues surrounding it. That would be my aim, to actually spread the word through this musical and through other things as far as possible. This is like one of the first times I've ever played a bad guy. Oi! I'm organic, so let me out of here, you low life creeps. You bow on the phone being cooped up in this dingy cab. This planet was working, was going well on its own, and when we came, we developed all these polluting machines. We have to put a stop to that and we've got to try and use more ecological fuels. I played the fox. I've learned that how much we're damaging the world and they should recycle and stuff. My family have got a lot of um, uh, compost bins and stuff which we use. Folks don't realise that old plastic bags like us carry on forever and ever. I just like learned what, what damaged the world and stuff like that. Now I feel used, underused, abused and confused. <laughs> I recycle. I go to school. I walk to school every day or, or cycle. And maybe want to like tell people. I play a supermarket trolley. Whoops! I got this wonky wheel from getting pushed around the supermarket. Got in loads of food and some of it had already thrown off where around the world. I think I learn about um, how like how there are loads of landfill sites around and and there are many recycling places and I learn to recycle more. It's a really, it's a really fun show to do, and there are lots of funny characters, dumb characters, posh characters, and it all together teaches you quite a good message. Boo! This fridge is full of decomposing junk food. I play a drip. That's a big drip. <laughs> they left all this junk food inside me when they threw me out to thaw. Well, it's kind of um. A fridge that has all this dirty kind of stuff inside it. Just because I didn't go with a new kitchen. It didn't fit in with the kitchen, so it got abandoned and put on a and put on a kind of heap. <laughs> it's getting dark and it's time to call it a day. The last song, we're kind of telling other people and we're kind of telling ourselves at the same time. Isn't it amazing that Earth is the only planet we know capable of supporting life? If the Earth supports us, we must support the Earth.
at this stage, we want the audience to be in floods of tears. All right. And if they're not crying, you can say that again. All right. How sad. I have crashed. I must reboot. Where am I? Morning, rag and bone. Morning, rag and bone. Did you two foxes have a good night out in the town? Now, because he's a TV screen, he's got fuzz. Oh, TV fuzz. Back in the good old days. We black and white televisions used to be really appreciated. I used to be really fit until some kid nicked me and dumped me here. Cycling is a fun, fit making and low carbon way to travel. A maggot like Wormy and Grub's gonna have some twirls. We only recycle organic stuff like Wattu veggies, paper cardboard, wood, dead, on land, dead animals and dung. Squirrel. Touch up with the fox quickly just to get you Just you wait till I get out of this can. You'll be sorry.